I'm back. I'm back. I'm at my parents' place, and that's what my nephew always says whenever he comes over. He's always like, I'm back. <laughs> so that was every time I walk in, I go, I'm back. Anyways, I'm just visiting for a bit. I brought over a tea. I'm gonna make sharp, sweet, and smooth blood orange roast or blood orange boost. Let's see what kind of mugs they got here. I love a good mug. Ooh, this one's fun. It's big. Oh, it's from Disney. My sister used to go to Disney like four times a year. No, no lie. <laughs> Oh, I'm excited for this tea. I offered my parents a tea, but they didn't want me to bring them one. I was driving the kids to school today, and as I was driving them, I got to thinking about YouTube and like, you know, just the whole thing. And you guys, what is your opinion on long form content? I've had this discussion with you guys before. Whoa, that smells like, what does that smell? I don't know, it's just like very like tea smelling. I love the packaging. What's your opinion on long form content? Because I love it so much and it makes me so happy that there are still people doing it. There's still people putting in the work in the long form content, which it's probably where I'll always be is long form content. Like as of right now, I can confidently say I won't be one of those creators that switch over to short form at all. I just don't, which is surprising because my attention span is like on normally on the very low side of like, I like things that are very like fast paced, but the, the long, the short form content is just not enough for me. Like I need more from certain people. And so many people have just made the switch to Instagram reels and TikTok. And it's just not enough for me. I'm like, no, come back to long form. So I just really appreciate the creators that are still doing long form content. And for me, it's like the longer, the better. Like when I see someone post like a 45 minute vlog, I'm like, yes, like this is like tuning into my favorite show. That's my TV. Like that's my shows. Like I really don't watch TV other than The Bachelor. The Golden Bachelor is starting tonight. The Golden Bag, I'm so excited for that. I basically only watch reality TV and not much of it. <laughs> Just like The Bachelor and Big Brother. But anyway, that's my TV. YouTube is my TV. So like, I just really love that. Obviously the smaller YouTube channels are my favorite. That's where, like that's where all my time goes is to the smaller ones. But some of the bigger ones I like to watch and they're not as relatable and they're not, it is what it is. It is more of a production and a big thing. And sometimes I, I enjoy that type of stuff. So I really like that like Shane Dawson is back and doing like long form content. I'm just microwaving my water, but oh, I just realized my parents have a kettle. I could have done that. I could have used a kettle. I didn't even think. I really love Trisha Paytas, which I don't really, I don't really love her vlogs as much, but I, I like her podcast. I watch that and I really enjoy uh, like Ryland Adams and Morgan Adams. Those are the bigger YouTubers I like to watch, but I'm just, basically what I'm saying is that I'm just glad some of the big, the big players in YouTube are still doing long form because I can't handle the short form. It's just not enough. It's not, I don't know. I just don't, I can't get on board with it. Like I post shorts, but my short feed is so like, or I just, my treat my short feed as a little, uh, scrapbook of things I don't want to forget. There's no rhyme and reason of what I post over on my shorts. Like I have little videos on my phone that just live on my phone. So I just like put them on the short feed so I can have them. I do it for myself basically. Like you'll notice my short is very random and just doesn't, it's just very random. 
And I like using my short feed for that. And I don't know if you know this, but if you're a content creator and you are monetized, your shorts are also monetized. And I actually draw in a fairly decent income from shorts, which is hilarious because it is just like, <laughs> it's just like this like, it's basically the camera roll on my phone of all these little videos that I take. Cause I'm always taking little videos and I just upload it to shorts and they always get like decent views and I don't know, it's hilarious. So that's how I'm using my short for content. It's so random, I don't know. It doesn't bother me if I post a short and it gets five views or if I post and it gets 5,000. Cause it's just, I just put it up there for me truthfully. I don't even do any like tags or anything. I just like, you know, like in the tag section, I just upload it and it's just hilarious. The, I don't understand the short stuff, I don't, but I'm feeling chatty this morning. <laughs> As I have my tea. Anyways, I am just here for the long form content. Let me know, what's your opinion on it? Do you find some long form just too long or do you appreciate people condensing a 30 minute video into 30 seconds like I don't know if that's a one for me it's a green tea which I like green tea but green tea is definitely not my favorite tea this tastes like a spices like but not like spices you cook with not like um cinnamon and that like nice it's like a it tastes like you're like pizza sauce <laughs> So anyways, yeah, it tastes like pizza sauce. I'm gonna drink it. If you wanna know what kind of grandparents my parents are, they have, they have transformed their basement into all of this play area for their grandkids. We have, obviously mine are the oldest, they're teenagers, but like they have a four year old and a one and a half year old and they just completely stocked their basement with toys so they could always have something to do when they come over. I think that is so sweet. <laughs> well, 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 someone must have knew I was in the Christmas spirit. Christmas cat, what are you doing? Are you excited? It's almost your season. Christmas cat. <laughs> Dolly's not bothered. Dolly, YouTube hasn't seen you in forever. What do you gotta say? Dolly is just the queen of the castle and you can't tell her any different. I'm gonna soak in the quiet house because it's a long weekend. Ah, it's a long weekend here. So there's no school tomorrow and there's no school on Monday. So I'm gonna put you on a tripod. One second here, hold please. I feel like tomorrow is gonna be a dedicated, like just clean the house day or I might do it tonight, I'm not sure, but it is just, I've been going to my parents' place a lot, so I, stuff around here has been falling behind my little everyday things that I typically do every day, you know, to keep the house running. So some of it's a bit behind, so I gotta catch up on that. Now that things are like getting back to normal, I have a few decor pieces I wanna hang up on the wall, but I haven't gotten around to it yet. So anyways, I'm just enjoying the silence before we have a long weekend, four days of a full house. It's going to be awesome. The next weekend is Thanksgiving. I'm really excited for Thanksgiving. I am just like craving a, a chicken or turkey dinner. We always do chicken because my sister is actually allergic to turkey. So we always do chicken, but I do appreciate when I do get a, a turkey dinner. So maybe I'll make a turkey dinner for like my crew. I never get turkey anymore just because of her allergy. We just like, we, you know, we just don't have turkey. So maybe I'll do that and just like have a turkey dinner for, for us. That might be nice. I placed an order with NYX 
which if you don't know, they sell like underwear and bras and bathing suits and, and pajamas and stuff like that. I've never ever ordered anything from NYX, but they have a sale on right now. And I have been wanting to order something for probably three years. <laughs> I just, I don't know, like, it's just, I could spend money on candles all day long, but, like, to spend the same amount on a bra, I'm like, oh, no, like, that's too much. I am just at the stage of my life where, like, I cannot be uncomfortable in my bras. Like, I cannot. So, I have one, the one I'm wearing right now is just, like, a little sports bra, and it's, it's comfortable, but I don't like it because of where it, it is so, like, it goes like right there that like no matter what I wear, unless I'm wearing something that's up like this, you always see that and I don't like that at all. But I, all my bras have underwires in them and I can't do it. Like I'm telling you, I am done with them. I can't do them. It it, it ruins my day. Like it aggravates me so much and I have put up with it for so long that I'm like, I can't be, like there's gotta be another way. So I started like researching and NYX is like highly reviewed and has good reviews and stuff like that. And all of their bras are wire free and they're all supposed to be like seamless and just like, just super comfortable. And I don't know. So I finally, I bit the bullet and I made an order and I got a few different bras and they really actually weren't that expensive compared to what, like, I don't know why in my mind I thought they'd be like $90 or like, but they weren't like some of them were on sale for 20 something. And then I got one that the most expensive one I think was 50. So I am totally replacing every single bra that I own, except for this one. I'll keep this one because this is a good like walking one, but I've been like wearing it every day because it's the only one that I'm like super comfortable in. And I'm just not the type of girl that like will go without a bra. Sorry, dad. <laughs> my dad watches all my videos. He's probably already turned off. He's probably like, I just don't want to watch this part of the video. Just skip ahead. But I just don't like not wearing a bra. I mean, I love not wearing a bra, but like I like our house is the house that like every like there's always people here. There's always teenagers here. There's always. So I'm just like, just not like if there's people in my home, like I'll have a bra on, you know what I mean? And that's probably just messed up in my mind. But like, I, I just like, you know, I don't know if it's just like me, Trevor and the kids, I don't care. But like, I'm just not there yet where I'm like, just walking around without a bra. So like, I just, what, what am I talking about? What am I saying? Uh, yeah. So, <laughs> oh yeah. So I'm always wearing uncomfortable bras. So I'm done, I'm replacing every single one of them. And literally when these new ones come in, I am taking every single one that I hate, which is all of them except for this one, I'm getting rid of them because I am done with being so freaking uncomfortable in a bra. Like, no, there's like, there's a solution to this. I, well, I'm hoping there is. This is what I think is gonna be a solution to this. And I'm so excited. Like I check my phone all the time. <laughs> tracking to see when they're arriving i'm like are they coming today are they coming today because i'm so excited i a couple years ago maybe two years ago now i replaced all of my underwear like i used to always just wear like cotton i guess underwear i don't like you know just your typical material whatever and that never used to bother me at all but like i just noticed in the past like probably five or six years that like it does bother me. So I replaced all of my underwear like a few years ago to like super like, um, like they're all seamless, which I love because those are so comfortable. They're super thin and they're like, uh, I don't know what you call it, like satin or silk, or I don't think they're actual satin. I don't know, but they're like super like, like soft, like, um, you know, like smooth. I don't know what, what the material is, but I replace all of them. And I'm not kidding you. Every single day when I put on underwear, I'm like, 
I'm so glad I did this. Every single day, I'm like, oh, I'm so glad I replaced all my, and it's been years. And I'm like, I'm so glad I replaced all my underwear. So that's where I'm at in life. <laughs> That's where I am, uh, 37 years old, about to turn 38, and I am replacing all of my underwear and bras because it's just, there's no need, like, I'm like, what am I doing, like, and when I need, and then I'd always buy a new bra, right, because I hate my bras, and I would just buy cheap bras to get me through what, I, like, you know what I mean, like, I used to always buy my bras at Giant Tiger, which Giant Tiger's bras are dirt cheap and they're, when they're new, they're, they're good. You know what I mean? But when they're like, but I'll wear them every day, right? And then it, they just like, the wire, like every single bra has the wire poking out right here. Like every bra I have. And then I'm like putting it in or I'm like sewing it back in. Like I'm not wearing them anymore. I'm not wearing wires anymore. No, I am 37 years old. Like, what am I doing? If it doesn't feel good, don't do it. So I feel like I've just been told this is what you wear, so I wear it. And then now it's like literally like, wait a minute, there's no rules. <laughs> like if I wanna buy a, a bra without a wire, I can. I literally, like I am not blessed in that area that like I need like crazy support. I'm like, what am I doing? What are you doing, Jacqueline? Anyways, this has been a lot of TMI, but that's where I'm at right now. And you know what? I highly encourage you to do the same. <laughs> Something's making you uncomfortable, change it up. My socks are good. I don't really wear socks that much, but my socks are good. My underwear is good. My bras hopefully soon will be good. And I have completely went through my wardrobe and anything that just is so uncomfortable on me or like feels I've gotten rid of. So life is too short to be uncozy and uncomfy. Like I'm not about the like beauty is pain, but no, no, thank you. That is not me. That is not my journey. <laughs> I need to be cozy at all times. So anyways, I thought I would share. Um, I'm going to go back to enjoying a nice quiet house until Everybody arrives home. Do you guys want to see tonight's supper? We're having chicken Caesar wraps with no side. Because <laughs> the one thing I've noticed is whenever I make these, we all get really full. So it's packed with chicken. And yeah, this one's yours, honey. Yours has cheese in it. Florence doesn't love cheese. So Trevor should be home any second. I think tomorrow I want to make scones. Trevor? Do you like scones? Yeah. Do you? Yeah. I might try to make them tomorrow. Would you drink tea with them? I got lots of tea. <laughs> yeah, I was like looking up recipes on YouTube and I came across a scone one and I was like, I never thought to make scones. I've never made them before. So I think I might try to make scones tomorrow. It looks it looks pretty easy, I guess. Anyways, it's getting late. It's like, it's only eight. I thought it was late. It's so dark out. Like literally, pitch black. <laughs> the kids have no school tomorrow. So we'll be up for a bit yet, but it feels late, you know? <laughs> but supper was really, really good. Everyone liked it. But uh, I guess I'm gonna end it right here i'll be back soon uh, with another video thank you so much for hanging out with me today and i will see you guys in the next one bye